All right, you made it to Lando Royal Capital, and maybe you're having a little bit of trouble with Godfrey the First Elden Lord, but I promise this is not as hard of a boss as some bosses that you've already been to get here. Just make sure that you have a weapon. You can see my kit that I was using to beat this boss. I've got an Uki Katana that's plus 16. Originally, I was rocking a plus five. I went back and upgraded it because I was doing no damage to this guy. It's not cheating, it's not giving up. Just upgrade your weapon. It's really what the game wants you to do here. Godfrey almost always starts the fight by jumping and throwing his axe. I like to dash forward to avoid the axe throw and then dash back at him and do a jump attack to get some free damage. And then I pull him back into this open area because the camera can be super funky if you get caught in one of those corners and I died a couple times to it. You can see he'll do a stomp and he summons spikes up from the ground. There's no reason to ever dash back. I was just silly and scared and I got punished for it. You can see I dash forward and to the left on this one and the next one. The first time I can get a free jump attack, the second time he does a axe swing, and you can see I got hit by the second axe swing, because I dodged the first one, jump attacked, and then got hit by the second. If I would have been quicker on that first one, I swear I could get the free damage on both of them. This little quick sequence, he can do two swings like he did that time, or sometimes he can do three. You just need to react to it. Usually he does two though, so just be mindful of the third one, and don't just always go for like a blind jump attack or power attack and try to get more damage. Staying in his face and getting multiple stance breaks is kind of the way to beat this guy easily. If you get back to back stance breaks, you're going to get mondo damage. I was able to do it one time and I was recording, but unfortunately the disc I was using to record ran out of space, so it just ended up overriding, which was a super big bummer, but you're just going to have to believe me. Stay in his face, get multiple stance breaks, and you'll win. I literally had to take a dive against this guy after I broke his stance twice because he had almost no health and I had, I think, every single one of my Estus flasks left. And I really wanted to catch this one for you guys. There's only one move that really surprises me consistently and it's that little punch that he does with the axe you saw right there. It's super quick and he does it so seldomly that you never expect him to do it. I honestly only saw it a handful of times while fighting him and I got hit by it almost every single time. As you can see, I opted to t drink a flask there after doing the visceral attack. I think you can get a pretty safe second power attack or jump attack on him after doing that, which really aids to breaking the stance another time in sequence. But I just, you know, the boss was pretty low in health. I was very confident that I knew his sequence and I just didn't want to get hit by two quick attacks and then die. But alas, I took him down. What's fun about this guy is after you beat him, you get a talisman pouch. Obviously, that's a huge boon. And you also get 80,000 runes, which seems like a lot. But at this point of the game, I think that was only enough for me to level up like two times, three times. Yeah, I think three times at this point. So after you beat the boss, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. There's an item up in that chair. If you want to go grab it, just run out here, run up this little tree branch. Don't fall off. I never fell off and then had to delete the recording and didn't include it in the video because it's embarrassing. I didn't do that. Why would I... I mean, come on, I'm way too good at this game to just fall off in a stupid little thing like that. But run outside, hook around, go through the open window, and when you get up to that chair, don't try to jump onto the chair. I don't think you're going to be able to make it. It's too high. Uh, you just need to stand out in front of it. I also never jumped off the chair and then died when I had to run a second time up the branch because I was antsy and annoyed that I jumped off. Again, you have no proof of this happening. It didn't It didn't happen, actually, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, after you grab that, run into this little room, grab this Cerulean Dew, which I have no idea what it actually does. Maybe you could tell me with a comment, you know, and also leave a like while you're there. And then run back over to this chest and grab the Erd Tree Bow. I also want to mention that while you're in that little room, you can see that I go back and do it because I, I think I realized that you want to kick that ladder. It just opens up another route to get here, and you always want to have every route that you can open. But all right, yeah, that's it. That's how you beat Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, how you get the Erd Tree, and how you definitely don't run off the branch while getting there. Hope it helped. Good luck in the lands between.